Hey guys, Manage Go Go. Happy Halloween season. Um, I hope you all are doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a tutorial on this quick little shoulder wound type of thing. I'm sorry guys, my lighting sucks on this, but my camera I was filming with just died, so... You're stuck with this. But, uh, yeah, just a quick little shoulder wound, bite, infection, spreading whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's really simple to do, really quick, and you don't really need any particular like special supplies. Like I did use liquid latex, but you can use Elmer's glue if you don't have latex. Or you could even use spirit gum if you wanted to. You don't have to use latex to adhere it on there. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get started and I'll show you guys how to do this. The supplies you're going to need are as follows. You will need toilet paper, one or two ply, it doesn't really matter, whatever you prefer. You're going to need some liquid latex or you can use Elmer's glue in place of the latex if you don't have any. You are also going to need fake blood, blood gel. I use both, but you can use one or the other or whatever. You need various types of browns and purples and blacks. Um, this is just eyeshadow and face powder and whatnot. You'll need Q-tips for, you know, applying stuff to stuff. And you're gonna need some more applying stuff to stuff supplies. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're gonna want to take your liquid latex or your Elmer's glue and start stippling it around your shoulder area with a sponge. You can do this area as big or as small as you want, just generally try to make it a circular shape. Next you're going to take your pieces of toilet paper, which you have already previously ripped up, and you're just going to randomly stick them over your Elmer's glue or latex. Uh, just kind of, you know, randomly stick it on there however you like, and after you've done that, you're going to stipple on some more latex or glue over the toilet paper and just kind of keep doing this until you feel that you have the amount that you desire. After you're finished you're going to take your tool that is not too sharp to hurt you but it's sharp enough to pull up some of the latex and toilet paper and just kind of start picking at it wherever you would like your deeper area to be or your hole in your wound at and just kind of tear at it and once you get the hole started you can even use your fingers to start pulling at it you can do one hole you can do several I'm doing just a big hole and then kind of a smaller hole up behind it after you've pulled up all the skin that you want you are going to start painting it. If I were you, I would suggest painting it a color to match your skin first. I did it the hard way and did it last. And I'm just taking some black eyeshadow right here and kind of rubbing it in. I'm not really completely making it black because I'm going to go over it with another color in a moment. Now I'm taking my purplish color, which this stuff kind of has the consistency of grease paint, and I'm just rubbing it around, kind of covering up any spots I missed. This is just to make the interior a little darker. It's okay if you get it around the edges. In fact, you want to do that to make it look a little more realistic. Now you just want to take your blood gel or your fake blood and spread it around wherever you like. I'm putting it inside the wounds, mainly with the blood gel because it has a sticky, more syrupy texture so it doesn't run all over the place and it kind of keeps that wet look for a while. I'm also going to put it on the surface a little bit too. Just kind of, you know, place it where you feel since all of these are going to be different. This is just kind of a basic tutorial to show you how to get started on this.